Hey folks, this is Matt Doyle, MLSsoccer.com's armchair analyst, here with another episode of Between the Lines. Today we're going to take a look at Houston's 4-3-3, and specifically how they've used lateral movement, moving the ball inside out to create vertical channels for guys like Matt Kanji specifically, and Kalen Carr on the right side to run into. It's given them a new dynamism in attack, no pun intended, and allowed them to hit from angles that they just weren't finding from earlier in the season. The Dynamo under Dom Kinnear have always been known as a direct team, often playing over the top or just getting the fullbacks forward and then crossing from the wing, and they still have both of those clubs in the bag. Boniac Garcia's header against DC being a perfect example, uh, Matt Kanji and Will Bruin both collapsing on one ball against Montreal is another good example of just a long ball over the top on doing a team. But what they've added now is Brad Davis and Boniac Garcia as dual pivots in the central midfield. Both these guys play both sides of the ball and both are comfortable creating either individually or combining. So that sucks the defense inwards, especially with Will Bruin dropping back from his center forward position to help maintain possession. It makes teams narrower defensively. When that happens, both Boniek and Brad Davis are able to spray balls to the wings where Carr and Kanji especially can use their one versus one ability to create scoring opportunities for everybody across the front line. Now Matt Kanji in particular has been devastating because he's one of the league's best one versus one players and the whole point of the 4-3-3 is to isolate those wingers on fullbacks and make those fullbacks drop deeper and defend. A lot of fullbacks don't want to do that. We've seen it increasingly in MLS that defenders are used as offensive threats. Now, Kanji has been able to take advantage of that throughout this good run of form. Unfortunately for Houston, He's still a shoddy finisher. He let New York off the hook several times in that 2-0 win a couple of weeks ago. Could have been about 6-0. And we saw it again in New York's 2-0 win in the return leg. Kanji had two really great looks. Probably should have put them away. But even when he's not finishing, he's creating tons of chances for the rest of the guys in that Houston attack. Now this has actually detracted a little bit from Will Bruin's goals total. He's not getting those easy looks he was earlier in the year when he was running off of Brian Ching's shoulder, but it's helped the offense as a whole. And Bruin has shown a really good facility as a playmaker. He's not as instinctive in that role yet as, say, a Brian McBride was or a Connor Casey, but the fact that he's adding it to his game as just a second-year player really bodes well for his future. Now, all of this combined means you have to throw away your old scouting report on the Dynamo. They're simply a new team. And that means that they're going to be a tougher matchup down the stretch for a lot of these teams that haven't seen them yet. 